Okay, this is what I have so far. If you go to actions, I don't know if this is just a workflow that I've made up. Uh, count. We're going to create a new action. Create a new module. And we will create a task. We're going to set the subject to, you notice that the window opens up a little bit bigger now, and the subject in this case will be, uh, a few things I have fixed still, it obviously should open up a little bigger down, so I'll fix that, um, do the work for, and this is going to add a field from accounts. And we're going to add the main field. You can see it inserts um, an element there for the main field. And we will go ahead and save that. You can see down here it has the element still there. We're going to change the status. You'll notice that normal, you know, the status I think is a drop down. So nothing really changes here. We're going to change the uh, status to not started. And the priority. <coughs> the high is good. Um, and we can change the description. And we can say. This record was created. Uh, it created in there by uh, entered by the phone number is. Now, I hate how this shows up, so I'm going to have to do some work here. Uh, I think I'm going to make each one an iframe, maybe, or something like that to sort of get them to be a little more contained. But in any event, we're done. We're going to save that. The screen refreshes. And if we click on show here, you can see that we have everything that we've set up. Um, so if we go and create an account, say test 11, the office phone is going on. on, on and I don't think I really need anything else. I kept the using other fields. And hit save. It's going to go through and create the account and the, account, the task. And if I go down here, do the work for test 11 as a task. Look on the task, we'll look at some of the other fields. Alright. Um, okay, there's a little bug there with multi line descriptions. I'll have to fix that. This record is created on this date. Now, this date is database formatted still, so I'll have to fix that. And user, obviously, we shouldn't have one. So I'll fix that, but you get the idea of what, where I am right now. There's still a lot of bugs to fix, but that's what it basically does. It allows you to copy fields, field values from the parent record to the new child record. Um, I'm interested if there's anything else you can think that it could do that would be useful. 
but that's where we stand right now. Thank you for watching. My email address is kbrill at triggerstudent.com. Talk to you later.